The app tells you everything that you need. When am I gonna get married? Will I be successful? All this information I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in all the classes, it's gonna be for free. If your ascendant is in Leo and then you have a Saturn in the seventh house and you're running a Saturn Mahadasha, then definitely you're gonna get married. Every time the Antar Dasha would move, we would be focusing on ourselves as an ascendant. We'd be focusing on our family in our second house, focusing on our siblings. We'd be buying cars. We'll be opening up a business over here. We'd be focusing on our relationship. So make sure to check it out, download the app. It's free. It's in the description box below and sign up to the Astro 101 class. Wondering if the promise will be given to you. Hopeful, optimistic, the nature of a Sag. Thinking of always the positive side. This is a three of wands, which for me, it waits for the sun. And normally the sun is, how do you call this? I call it the relationshipment because it's known as a shipment here. So you're waiting for someone to come through and then probably commit or be in a relationship with you. This is also you looking forward to the, a brighter future. You may be moving. You may be relocating. You may be um, planning to uh, uproot yourself from one country to another, a state to another, but it's like a, a geographical move, basically. So, interesting. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where that, where that sound come from. But having the three of ones over here, this is showing that the, the sads right now are more about the future. Um, uh, yeah, majority of the Sag, I don't think they ever even look at the past. It's something for you. It's just like, well, it's, it is what it is. You know, I'm just going to move on from that. Three of Wands. Okay, so we're going to look in your side, in your person's side over here. Um, if you haven't downloaded the app, the link is in the description box below. It's down there. You have to click it. And also the classes is going to be down there. Once you have received, uh, once you have signed up, you know, classes will... Um, probably in a week or two, I think, is the set, okay? Classes for astrology. These are free classes. Okay, here we go. And if you have attended a class before, because I decided it's free, and some people sign up to pay, so um, we have issued refund because I decided, like, let's just have it for free, you know. So you should have gotten your refund already. Here we go. Okay, I wanted to give it for free. So people will learn about themselves. This is sidereal astrology, not Western. So when you download the app, if you're following Western astrology, then you, you will have different placements. Let me explain how it works. The sun sign would be different for sure, mm -hmm. majority, because Western is different from sidereal. That's just how it is, computation. Okay, um, your, you feel like this relationship um, waiting is, is too much of a burden. Ooh, is this Sankrati already? The sun has moved to Aries. Okay, now we're talking. Fifth house, dating romance, zero degrees. Sun is exalted um, uh, in Aries. We will have soon um, Aksha, uh, Aksha Kritia. When the sun is exalted and the moon is exalted, meaning when moon is in Taurus, and the sun is in Aries. That's what we call Aksha uh, Kritia. Okay. A most auspicious time to manifest. I believe it's around April 29. Okay. I have to check. Um, the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands. Uh, so you may feel like energized. You have the sun over here. So I look at it from uh, your, your fifth house. So a lot of things are happening in your dating life, romantic life with the star and the sun. You've met a soulmate, that's for sure. Um, or a karmic, because you have a devil card over here. It has been a running runner chaser between the two of you and your person. You have tried to make it work, but every time you put effort, it feels like it is one-sided. You never really see them um, stepping up or putting their energy the way that you have uh, placed your energy. Um, you may be obsessed also here with the devil card, with Rahu in the fifth house, obsessed to date, obsessed for to find happiness. Um, this is going to be a critical time for you to build this relationship because Mercury is going to go retrograde on the 21st, which gives you that five of swords and the five of cups, a misunderstanding with your person. If not, it already has happened. And it's going to go even under. It can be with a Taurus, Aqua, or Leo, and you have Libra, you get Capricorn over here. 
Um, with Mercury, ruler of your seventh house, goes retrograde, it will um, become a little bit more dysfunctional, your relationship. The communication is what's going to trouble you. Do remember that also Mercury is your Baraka planet. And if it sits in the fifth house, there's a lot of blockage that you are feeling right now with the Ten of Wands dating. Um, but you have this hopeful, you know, Jupiter is in Pisces. It gives you that comfort. It also aspects you. For, uh, you know, four, seven, uh, four, seven, ten, one, four, seven, ten. Um, this is what we call a Rashi Drishti, which means that you have you have been blessed by being, excuse me, by feeling good. Okay, like I'm happy, I'm okay. That's the Jupiter in Pisces. It will stay there for a couple more days, but it's about to move also to your fifth house, which means that expansion will come soon. The delay may be over. The devil over here with the seven of swords, your person has been playing these mind games with you for quite some time. This is the Rahu part in your fifth house. You have been dating someone who has been lying, betraying you. Rahu is uh, the North Node, basically, is a cheater when they tried to get the Amrit, you know, when they tried to fool the gods. So someone is always trying to pretend, okay? Rahu K2, basically. You've been torn between... You know, like probably like spending time with friends, you know, try, trying to forget what has happened between you and your person because you guys haven't been talking, High Priestess, with the Five of Cups. Your person is very much upset because you used to give all this effort, but then you found out, you know, the sun and the devil over here, you found out things that were hidden from you. But you keep yourself, um, you're still in the optimistic side. You will, that's something that you will have. That's something that you won't lose is being optimistic, Sag. Please do remember, when I do say their astrology, you have to look for ascendant. The sun does not work for astrology. Moon, sun, uh, ascendant, and moon sign. Okay? So when you get the app, you have to look where your ascendant and your moon sign is. With tarot, however you see fit. This picks up the energy. It doesn't, picks up, it doesn't pick up a chart. Okay? You will always connect with the, with the tarot. Regardless, chart or no chart. Oh. Treasure Island. Mars is also in Gemini. So this is this conflict. The argument, the fight, the separation. Okay, Sag? Um, the Treasure Island is here. So again, you are really hoping and waiting for this. Like you are all about optimistic. We're going to be together. Whatever readers, astrologers says that we're not, we're going to be together. You're not a fixed sign, but then you probably have a moon that is fixed because I sense stubbornness. I sense... It doesn't matter. You get a higher fit. You're, you're complicated. Meaning, you don't... I don't know where your Jupiter is placed, or if it's combust, because Jupiter is combust, uh, previous. It can be like, a, a, like you know, you have a sun and Jupiter in the first house. It can be very stubborn. You don't listen to other people's advice. You know what is truth, and that's the only truth that you will follow, regardless of any professional person who will give you Okay, light about the situation. So you learn, you get the devil here, you learn from your mistakes as a practical approach. That's how you do it. Because here with the Treasure Island, it doesn't show any kind of like, oh, I don't think it's going to manifest. I feel like this. No, 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 no. For you, it's like, I can do this. I can do this. All that glitters, which only means that you are really seeing now the truth from your person. You're... Seeing now, okay, that the honeymoon stage is over. Well, this is on their side. So they are slowly revealing things that you haven't, that you don't know about them. So karmas are coming out now, okay? A lot of people, like, they think that the dating is because of fifth house, you know, it's like, that's where we stay. We don't. Once you make that agreement in your seventh house, marriage or partnership, then you will see what the other person's karma is. The person has been detached from you for quite some time, and you know it, but you have been putting this, well, basically just under the rug. Next 30 days for the two of you. If you guys are going to be sharing a path. Someone's person here's name is letter M. I just hear that, M. I don't know what the M stands for. Okay. Your best course of action. And for people who is trying to get into, you should be going to real estate. 
or buying a home or just moving to a, b a newer home okay if you're trying to expand your business it is the best time for you to um, use a specific crystal like citrine in the end of this video i sh i will share how to manifest so stay tuned at the end okay this is uh this is our piao you rub it and then you know it attracts what you're trying to manifest as far as like exp expansion and growth it's at the end of this video your best course of action so it does look like um on both ends okay like for you you will weigh out the situation with a justice card you will find logic here it's almost as if like you always try to find the logical side i don't want to i don't want to use my emotions or intuition here but if you're if you have five of swords in a devil on their side what is the logic here your person can be narcissistic ten of pentacles queen of cups and the ten of cups you see for you it's all about love it's all about togetherness it's all about this optimistic we are going to be together regardless Okay, you're basically mesmerized. You have future plans with your person, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. So that's basically you saying that I'm in love, I feel good, I'm happy. That's the only thing that matters. This is what you're telling your person. You have this undying love. On your person's end, Two of Wands, Page of Cups, Page of Swords. Okay, so they're going to talk to you. They're going to explain to you something very important. You were in the three of ones. The two of you are waiting. It can be about a move. You could have met this person online. Because you got two pages. Page of swords with the page of cups. The important message that you will receive from them. Basically, it will remove all these things that you think about them or how you feel about them. Because you only... I'm seeing that you put your pe person on pedestal. Let me see if you guys are meant to be. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, if you guys are meant to be together, because you have Hierophant, you want to marry this person, you want to be with them. And your person here, important message, Page of Swords, Page of Cups. So a very important message that they want to tell you right now. Okay, remember, Mercury is ruler of communication, and then it's the ruler of your seventh house, so they will talk to you. Now, what is it about? Let's see your card of focus. Ooh. Someone's reaching out. Ace of Wands. So this Three of Wands needs one one to become a Four of Wands, which only means that this message is about relationship and the partnership that you have been waiting for. Is it coming from them? Is it coming from you? That is a question. Let's find out. Link in the description box below. Stay tuned for next is how to manifest. Let me share with you guys the secret sauce to my success. These are different, well, this is one crystal that I've been using since I started my YouTube channel. But there are different prices, but then I made something, well, I'm going to share it to you right now. So first, I use citrine for the past four years. So natural citrine and even um, heated citrine. So I go for any of those. Now, the thing is with citrine, there are different price range. And then citrine is actually a substitute gemstone for yellow sapphire. I've gone from yellow sapphire to natural citrine to citrine also where it is heated. All works the same for me, so I'm just sharing the tea with you. So first, um, gemstone that I've used this, because citrine is like a gemstone of Jupiter, so growth, expansion. So I got this like probably um, around $175. So this one is made of silver you can see that it's already like tarnished. So this one is really old. Then I opened my store with this one. Now this one is yellow, sapphire, expensive. $3,500 custom, um, three carat uh, yellow sapphire there. So blemish free also. Good for Jupiter, remedy, expansion, growth, money, success, even attracting spouse because Jupiter is the carca for the spouse. You see that? So I wasn't attracting a spouse though. So I was attracting more money. So let's be honest here. Then that one is $3,500. This one is $450. Still expensive. You know, it's like, ah, we need to come up with something that everybody can basically wear. So I got citrine. I make it myself. Okay. I don't have it now with me because I put it already in the store. So I make this beaded bracelet together with the 
PL. So you've seen me using the PL. I rub the PL and it attracts your clients, your growth, success removes obstacles also, and it's also very, very protective. So now it's available. Um, you can check it out on our website, eatreadlove.me. It is in our latest collection. So you can check out now our Citrine PL.